Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem The Sacred Echoes, a Fire Emblem 8 ROM hack by Hyper Gamma Spaces. I'm your host, Pandan, and we're going to continue on with the finale, the finale, the final chapter, the finale, the finale of Act 1, the Usurper. And so last time, oh heck, I didn't mean to do that. So last time we went to the Deliverance Hideout, did some stuff. Um, we can defeat the enemy. We got these two boys. We got Python and Forsyth. Forsyth comes with his own special weapon, which is effective against cavalry, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't know if it's actually personal to him, but it's pretty humorous. A lieutenant of Deliverance, passionate and forceful. Good, good reference there. Force. And then Python, the son of Ozophian Carpenter, would rather be napping. Not inaccurate. Um, I like the way, I like the dynamic those two guys had in uh, Shadows of Valentia. Alright, so. I gotta retreat. Yeah. So, I actually just updated the save. Or rather, the patch. So Gamma released the new patch between my last recording and this one that fixed some of the issues. So shout out to, to T Dawes, Mega Pikmin 123, who played through the game and shared some feedback with him earlier, um, previously, probably a couple weeks ago. By the time this one goes live, and Gamma released an update patch to fix some of those small issues. I don't think it'll really impact too much of now or what we would have seen already. But look at this guy. But it'll be a little bit more relevant later on as we go into the Selka route, which I'm very excited to get into. <laughs> I wonder who built this throne. Dude, to say his face is like crazy. Don't do drugs, kids. It is marvelously comfortable. Why did they let it be wasted on the incompetent fool Lima for so long? I want to call him Lima Bean, but maybe that's why he, he got off so easily. Soon the Regalian Empire will finish its conquest of Valentia, and then I will rule from this throne as king. Forgive me, Chancellor, to say. We've captured a rebel in the forest. It's. It's Fernand, sir. What? But Fernand is Clive's right hand man. Why would he be wandering the woods without a detachment? March, prisoner. Unhand me, I have cleansed myself of those rebel scum. What's this? Am I to believe you have left your precious deliverance? Deliverance. Pa! <laughs> Seems you have a story to tell. My ears are yours, Sir Fernand. Good fade out. What? My son's grandson. Indeed. Clive has thrown all of our ideals at the, at the feet of the unworthy. He's made a boy a figurehead just to leverage some decrepit hero's name. Well, I say, damn them all. There, you have my story. Now kill me and be done with it. But this doesn't make sense. Myson didn't have any. Ah, now I see what it is. Rudolph, you villainous dastard. Ooh, the throw and shade. Huh? Silence. When I address you, you'll know it. I have decided your fate, Fernand. Killing you would be wasteful. Come with me. I will introduce you to your new master. A master more befitting of your ideals. New master. Wait, explain yourself. Yo, Fernand gets played so hard. Sophia Castle, we're finally here. Thanks to you all. You should hold your head high as you command us on this great day. It will be a great day, won't it? Fellow soldiers, fight with me. Today, Sophia's people reclaim her castle and her pride. This chapter looks very similar to the OG. There he is. I love the blue, dude. His palette's incredible. And Renea? And this theme? Just let that, just let that sink in. Nice. So this is the so-called should be so comma. This is the so-called deliverance. What is a shoveled herd of clod hoppers? <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Find a comfortable seat, Lord Burkut. The Empire's finest general did not trouble himself with such rabble. You may watch from on high as my finest troops cut them down like wheat. I may just take you up on that offer, shall we, Renea? I have no desire to see such bloodshed. War is horrible, I will make no spectacle of it. <laughs> I jest, my dear. Forgive me, I must take my leave. Yes, of course. I trust the Draco shield I lent will add to your already considerable strength. It is a fine gift, my lord, you honor me. Oh, I didn't realize that that's what happened. Sigh. You, knight. Fernand, was it? Yes, my lord. You said the name of the Deliverance new leader is Alm, correct? And that he's of common birth? There is no mistake in this? None, my lord. Clive and the other fools believe he is Myson's grandson. <laughs> what nonsense. One is either born... One is born either noble or common. They're just, this destiny cannot be changed. Has a sheep any hope of leading wolves? 
Yes, 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 exactly. Bernan's like, finally, someone is speaking my language. Classism, right, guys? Cheer words are never spoken, Lord Brakut. Still, I am surprised that Sir Clive. Tales of his exploits have spread as far as Regal. How could so celebrated a leader make so amateur a mistake? The Deliverance has no future now. All of Zofia will soon belong to the Empire. Renea. Yes, Lord Brakut? I have to promise... I have a promise to make you, my dear. I will succeed His Majesty Sir Rudolph and become the next Emperor. I shall rule over the Valentine, Valentine continent as I was meant to, and you should be my Empress. Does this please you? I... I do not have words. It has begun. I pray this Om fellow makes the battle at least halfway entertaining. Renea's might be the most tragic character in Shadows of Valentia. Possibly one of the most tragic in all of Fire Emblem. Certainly like a top five most tragic characters. There's something just like very real about her. Alright, we gotta seize the throne. It's giving me the option to bench someone. It's probably just gonna end up being Python, honestly. I might bench Cav Grey. Clive just outclasses him and Python ha Yeah, you know I'm benching Cav Grey. Sorry, Grey. I don't know why people think Cav is good. I mean, rescue dropping is- Actually, you know what? Rescue dropping is really good, and I want to finish this chapter. Because this chapter is one that can drag on for a bit if we're not careful. But Python's extended range could be very tight here. Um, but somehow, somehow I feel compelled to skip it. So we're going to, let's see, we're going to do Cantha over here. We're going to take Clive and Gray up the right side. Yeah, maybe this makes sense, right? We use... This, this map is a little rough on our flyers, but it will help everyone get to the action a bit faster. Uh, once we clear the archers, it's fine. So my thought is, like, let's take a Cantha up here for the treasure with Cliff and Gray, or Clive and Gray, I should say, and then force... I want Forsyth over with this squad. Um, but Forsyth can wrap around. He could do the high wrap around. I like that, yeah. And then... Or we can have these guys rescue drop. Yeah, you know, we could do that too. Let's do it. Alright, so... Let's get him moving. Back to the OG track. Hear me, worms of the rebel army. You have done well to make it this far, but you have no hope of defeating me. Now, Slade, take the cavalry and run down every one of those wretches. <laughs> well said, my lord. I will see to it that every last one of these worms is extinguished in your name. Look at Slade's face, dude. Again, don't do drugs. All right, now. Okay, rescue, drop, strats. I guess this is this is really like the main reason why I'm bringing all of these folks. Just to do this. And then Forsyth can start making his way. Actually, I feel, I feel better doing this. And then... Yeah, you know what? Because... Can you pick up him? No. Can you pick up Forsyth? No, you can't. So we'll have to wait. But this is fine. Cliff. Tobin. And then... Take. Drop. Oh man, this is so nice. I love doing this. Here they come. Yeah, Forsyth's gonna be ready to pounce on them. Not scared. Alright. Lucas takes a point of damage. Not a big deal. The grand finale. Alright. Now have Adam, lads. 7-7. Seven, seven. Lucas with the Iron Lance. Lucas just going in. What are you saying, Claire? Claire's even saying something. That, now that's saying something if Claire's saying something. Alright, so we should do... Cliff can't reach, but we can do... I'd rather at least net Cliff to some experience. Yeah, 
This doesn't really matter very much because this is the last chapter in the Allmark in this. Oh wait, we can do this. Yeah, I like this move. Look at Claire going up against archers. Yeah. I keep forgetting that archers are not as scary to flyers in this game because of just how low weapon might is across the board. So that's a bit of a mental adjustment. Oh, look at the hearts now that we get. That's cool. Gamma added those back in. That's pretty nifty. Uh, yeah, we're doing, we're getting the axe rank going. Having axes in Gaiden definitely is nice. Like, it still kind of bothers me that Kaga got rid of the axes in so many of these older games. Like, you have them in FE1, but there's like no axe users in FE2 or 3. At least book two, like what the heck? Like, what the heck were you thinking, Kaga? And then FE4. Man. Alright, let's see. Okay, so these guys are gonna be coming at me. There's like this I can't have the Thunderblade still. Yes she does. Alright, so See if we can do some fun Thunderblade strats here. I'll feel I'll pull those guys to the wall and then oh no they said they have too much range. It didn't matter. Nice Clive palette. It looks very much like the generic South pal that you get. All right, these guys have too much range, so forget it. We just gotta keep moving. Okay. Look at that thief. That nice anti-turtle incentive. Yeah, you can't really outrun these guys very well. All right, so let's see. Forsyth time. Iron Lance, Lance. Okay. Lucas. Let's help this dude out. Flight, flight strats, man. Uh. Get everyone into position. Yeah, they're gonna go for Forza. Love that pallet. Look at him doing 18 damage. Okay, it's doubled though, but who cares? I can respect Gamma's love for Forza. Just giving him this ridiculous weapon. It certainly makes things go a bit faster. It's really good damage output for this game too. I guess four times, it's 12 damage, so that's pretty exceptional. There we go. Okay. Gray with the big level. Can we get some speed? Skill. Gray, you should, I should just make, I mean, Cav Gray is being useful for utility. Which I can, I can get behind. I've definitely become more of like a utility oriented farm than player. All right, Tobin. Can we, yeah, just, just take the guarantee here. It's a fancy Excalibur. Cam, have you thought about swapping out the Excalibur animation for something that doesn't take as long? And I know that that's the one that's in vanilla, but more so the, my question being, let's see, maybe I just fight these guys. Do you have anything I can steal? You do, okay. Raid. Oh, I have this peg of cheese too. Yeah, get this guy out of here. Now Gray's gonna take that vulnerary and heal up. This is gonna be a little tri- oh she doesn't have the- oh wait a second. Oh, wait. He has it still, okay. This is gonna be a little dicey for these guys, but I think we'll make it work. Poor Silk, man. The starting positions of this chapter are like... This is one of my issues with like bigger seas maps. Is it's hard for your other units to really keep the pace. Okay, let's see. Poor Sith. <laughs> Why not just use the Forsyth for everything? Look at him go! I mean, this certainly is the kind of thing that I would... Not only is it good because... Forsyth def def desperately needs help, but also like 
the, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's really just good because he needs so much help to be useful. So it's like a good add. Like, it's a little ridiculous and silly, but I'm grateful that Gamma as a for is a Forsyth fan and that Forsyth is not like an already overpowered unit. Like, imagine if this was FE8, like a remake of FE8, and someone gave like a personal weapon to Seth because Seth was their favorite unit. You'd be like, bro, is this necessary? Let's see. All right, let's see. What are you saying here? Clive with the one round? I never thought. I like, I benched Clive super hard in all of my playthroughs. not very great of a unit. Cliff is kind of the new Clive. Or Gray, I should say. Okay. No. I can't get this guy out of here. Eleven Sword. I feel like I need to get the Eleven Sword over to the, the other group now. Which I might actually facilitate. I think I know what I need to do. So what I'll probably do is I'll go open that lower door with him first, trade the Levin Sword and the Pegasus Cheese over, and then Acantha's just gonna go run around to the throne room and do stuff. Let's see. Yeah, Lucas will take the charge here. There we go. There we go. Um, definitely want Forsyth up in the mix. Not something you'll hear me say often. Alright. Okay. Slade's gonna move now. Yeah. What's this? A bunch of bumpkin brats from the village in Ram Woods? Well, hear me, runts. My name is Slade, and today I shall deprive you of your lives. Edge. Not scared of your one damage. Probably doubles me, though. Guide in combat. It's guide in combat. Oh, you know what? I forget. You have to kill Desai first, right? I forgot about that. Because if you get slayed, then Desai leaves and the map ends pretty much, right? I don't remember. I think that's right. That would be kind of stinky if that happened. So this can be... Okay, so we'll do this. No, I needed that one. Can Gray do it with just the regular Lance or do we need to trade? Now you get the string. Oh, Clive can still do it. Yeah. Thank you, Clive. Okay, yeah, take these to the others. And then, yeah, I'll have Gray try and ferry her back to get the stuff. Because, yeah, because I pulled Slade too quickly. Okay, oh, we got a door key. That's nifty. Um, yeah, we'll send that back. And then you can rescue, do this, and drop her in range. Excellent. Now, over here, force it. Doing 14 damage. The big man. Let's see. 12. Yeah, we can just end Slay this turn, probably. This caliber's so good. Did he take less than 12 damage there, or did, did I just go crazy? Alright. We're gonna give the kill to Forsyth for Gamma's sake. And also, because if Forsyth takes. Because Forsyth has the most to lose by taking damage here. It is kind of weird that Slade charges out first before the other calves. I don't know how true if I remember like the layout in Gaiden, but I think it might be better to like have it so those calves come out first. Oh, that was bad for us. That was bad. You needed to hit that one. Okay. Can Faye do this? 
16 minus 10. She has 8 speed. No. Yeah, that was a, a pretty weak miss. Can you help? No. Maybe. If only I had the Thunder Sword. Okay, let's see. This is actually a pretty rough spot to be in. I think the safe play would be Peel Force It. Uh, um, can Om um do it? No, you can't. I'm just gonna wait. Cliff can help out over here, maybe. And then take, drop, and then heal. Alright. Or is it look at another chance of glory? Assuming Slade doesn't kill himself. I wonder what Slade's AI is, because that'll determine kind of what happens here. Goes for Cliff. Big damage. Cliff doesn't get doubled, though. Yeah, Cliff even doubles him. You fool. Okay. For a big castle map, I always liked this one. This was probably one of my favorite castle maps of all time. I just think like having like the boss charge you and having to deal with that is pretty cool. And there's like this cluster. Ooh, hello, Claire. I just thought it was like a pretty neat idea. Like not enough castle maps have moving enemies. It's a lot like a lot of castle maps throughout Fire Emblem involve a lot of baiting and switching. And there's not really much charging at you. Like a seas map is so much more dynamic when you have things charging at you. No, I did not want reinforcements from here. Alright. You still have this vulnerable right though, right? Yeah. Alright. Okay. You should be fine. Oh, are we ready for the strats right now? I think... I don't want to risk Cliff taking that damage. I'd rather him take care of the archers so I can move the pegs in a bit more care more. And we could trade this around. The big trade strats, man. The big trade strats. This is... This is fun. Big trade strats and Gaiden. Forget about it. Why play anything else? He can promote. Nifty. Alright, now. Big level. Let's see. Forsyth? I don't think For oh, Forsyth might be able to get in range. But I don't think anyone's going to be able to kill him. So I think this is just going to have to be for Tobin. Give it to Tobin. Impossible. This is neither the time nor the place for me to die. Oh wait, did that end the chapter? That would really stink. Or do I? Or does the say just leave and I just have to go run and seize? I forget how all this works. Tobin's getting cra crazy magic. Yeah. Oh, to say leaves. I forgot about this. What's this? Slade has been defeated. Damn rebels rule this day. I must withdraw. The rest of you hold this castle at all costs. Swarps away. What a noob. All right. Let's see. Forsyth. So close. All right, Lucas, set this one up for him. All right, we're going to turn the animations off as we kind of wrap this up. It's so deflating that he leaves. Oh, hello. Why did that guy disappear? Something happened. All right. That's interesting. Okay. I broke something, Gamma. I totally broke something. All right, we'll sort it out next chapter. Alm, um, charge for Shadow Alm. Um. They won't be able to see me. Oh, crap. Okay, let's see. Faye. Let's see. I would like to get rid of this guy. Do you have healing? Yes. But there are archers. I cannot reach. All right, so... Faye should be, or that's Claire. Claire should be fine there. Actually, I think I'd rather just put Faye there, because Faye Faye's can tank. Yeah, Faye can tank. Let's go. All right, this is working fine. 
Sack is not yet finished, boys and girls. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right, and that did. So I haven't been able to use Silk at all. Like she's just been so far behind. I should have positioned her a bit better, but I haven't really needed the healing that much. Playing with Peg Fay makes me realize how little I actually needed two clerics at this part of the game. The Vanishing Soldiers, man. The Shadow Army. This is like Dynasty Warriors 4, Phantom Army, Yellow Turban shit. Alright. The crit. Big three damage. Okay. Okay, Gray's gonna heal. Something broke. And I don't know what it is. But it's fine. Gamma will probably have a fix out by the time this video goes live. I'm a couple weeks ahead right now. Okay. They're all just going to keep going for Alm. Um. Maybe, hopefully we can just like clear the path. All right, we're gonna go back. See, I like this like creeping pressure here. Really good map design. All right. All right, you're not in anywhere near me, so. Let's see, I have to do Thunderblade. Okay, then. He's on the throne. Real game. That's pretty funny. All right, let's see. Um, uh, there's no Thracia trade in this though. That is stinky. Okay. Let's see. Fay, you're gonna set up. Um. This guy's got 37 hit points. What the heck? What in hex name? is happening. We're just blitzing. Alright, moment of truth. Can you use the Forsyth? You cannot. It's a personal weapon. That's brilliant. Okay. Clive needs a heal real bad. Okay, we can leave our mages to clear out this guy. Clive, can you do it? Clive! Coming in clutch on the pillar. And then... Ooh, I don't like that for her. This is better. And then... Heal up. Heal, heal up, Gray. There we go. Taking that throne healing. Okay. Nice, Silk. Very nice. Spill, speed and luck, all right. New spell learned. Uh-oh, um. Guy's doing big damage. Probably should've healed with um. But we can seize, come on, don't die on me now, game. Don't die on me now, um. Go for, take the, go for Claire. Nice level, Claire. Oh, they can't go for Claire. Oh, they're going for Alm. Okay, oh, they don't do enough damage. Don't take the throne. All right, good. All right, this is going to be a wrap. This is a wrap. Um, yeah, something's up with this. I'm going to... Rider's Bane, killer. All right, now... I think the move is just going to be to seize. Yay. Okay, everything looks fixed now. Pathetic. The Chancellor's all talk. What shall we do now, my lord? We cannot hold the castle with my detachment alone. We must retreat. Fernand, you stay with me and we'll join with our main force in the forest. Yes, my lord. You have made an impression on him. Yes, you have. Very abrupt ending to the music. To save forces are retreating. 
You mean we won? Yes, Mom, we won. Zofia Castle can finally return to the hands of her own people. We really did it. We did it. We freed Zofia. Hee <laughs> hee. The boy from Ram shall kiss my hand and thank me for securing this victory. Ha ha ha. I just only, I assure you. You're wonderful, Arm. This, um, this victory proves you have what it takes to lead us. This victory wasn't mine alone. I share this glory with all of you. Sure, but hold on a second before we start throwing roses around. Sand Slade both got away, remember? Tobin, you sure know how to take a squad on someone's big moment. Forget who got away. There's still plenty of reason to celebrate. Gray is correct. True, it is deeply regrettable that those two snakes managed to elude us, but regardless, we have taken the castle, the symbol of the kingdom. Was this not Deliverance's primary goal? Indeed it was. Never mind, we're good. I know this war will continue as long as the Empire desires with Thea, but this victory is a sweet chalice, and right now we should drink deep. Clive couldn't have said it better. We fought for this, we earned it. Now let's take a moment to enjoy it. So then, shall we go inside? Our friends in the castle will be most eager to meet their deliverer. Deliverer? Come on, you make me sound like some kind of hero or something. Hey, wait. Ah. Friends, we have made great strides by recapturing the castle. The Chancellor to say remains at large, and the Regalian army yet lingers inside our kingdom's borders. To free Zofia, we must find to say, slay him and drive Regal back for good. Um, yes. You are our commander now. We would hear your opinion on this. Oh right, my opinion. Um, well, what are our options? We could garrison the castle and wait for Regal to come to us, or we could take the fight to them. The choice is yours, Alm. I see. You know, this war has been my first glimpse of the kingdom I live in. It's far worse off than I'd heard. People are suffering, even dying. Terrible as it is, this war has taught me that when we stand up and fight, we help those people. And I want to keep making a difference as much as I can. I know this sounds empty, maybe even mad, but I think we should keep fighting until we've taken back all of Zofia. So then, will you stand with me? Will you stand and fight? What kind of question is that? Of course we will, silly boy. <laughs> and it seems like the matter is settled. The Deliverance shall march. We'll put the say down and scatter the Regalian army to the four winds. So triumphant. Wow, that gave me goosebumps. Not bad, all. not bad. We've been listening to a thing he said, you go your Goosebump Giver just declared war on the whole damned empire. I know, but I think it was a nice- wait, he did what? No, no. Come on, this isn't a war, Gray. He's just going to kick them out. Right, and the Emperor Rudolph will just send a fruit basket to apologize. Come on, Tobin, you can't be so thick that you don't see what's coming. Hmm. What? Stop staring at me, it's creepy. You knew it would come to this, didn't you? When you agreed to join the Deliverance, I mean. Oh, come now. You're the one who said long ago that Alm was different from us. You knew he was going to do something huge like this one day. Ah, I'm not a prophet, Tobin. All I meant was that he's different. Well, you're on something no matter what, because now we're starting to see that he's much bigger than we are. I'm proud of him, but I'm also going to miss him. Oh, brother, you poor kid, Tobin. Well, if it isn't the good folks of the Deliverance, I was hoping I'd run into you. Please, allow me to welcome you to the castle. I served Zofia's king for many years. If you need anything, just ask. Thank you, that's very kind. This is my first time here, so I'll admit I'm feeling a bit lost. My grandfather, Sir Mycin, spoke of it on occasion, but Sir Mycin, is with you in general? Oh yes, that's the one. I'm his grandson, Alm. He lived in this castle long ago, didn't he? Well, yes, but how very odd. I knew the general quite well, and he had neither a wife nor child, nor any lover who could bear one. Huh? I beg your pardon, good sir, but it simply cannot be the case. Alm is most certainly related to... No, I assure you, General Mycin told me himself, I have no family. Clear as day it was. But wait, if I'm not... Pay him no mind, Alm. The old man's probably just confused, is all. It was such a long time ago. Let us address the masses from the balcony. That is more pressing matter. Yes, that must be it. Let's go, Clive. Dun 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 dun. I loved that in the in Echoes when that scene happened. That was so harrowing. Mycin! It's good to see you, boy. Grandfather, what are you doing here? <laughs> I have my reasons. Look how far you've come on. You're a man grown now. You've been through quite a bit since leaving the village, haven't you? I suppose, but Grandfather, I'm sorry I never said goodbye or thanked you for all you did for me. I still feel guilty about that. But I think I made the right choice. All this deliverance stuff happened and... I didn't come here just to pick apart your actions, Alm. I came here to ask one question. Are you ready? Am I ready? Indeed. For once you march on Regal, you place yourselves in the hands of destiny. You won't be able to stop the events that unfold. No one will wish you well. Are you ready to take the lives and burdens of others into your hands? Are you ready to fight and bleed until Zofia, all of, Zofi all of Valentia, is saved? I am. I know I may be in over my head, and I still have much to learn. 
But when I say I will fight for my kingdom, I will fight for my kingdom. No one can stop me. Nothing can break me. I'll see it through to the very end. Very well. I've seen that look before. I must run in the blood. Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand in time, boy. Say, that reminds me. This old man downstairs was saying that some strange things. He told me... Huh? What's that noise? Well, well, the people have gathered to get a look at their new hero. You should go greet them. And Mom's like, okay. Whoa. Burn this memory in your heart, boy. These are peoples whose burdens you will carry the rest of the way. Remember what lies upon your shoulders. Mice with a heavy speech. I love it. And so it was that Sophia Castle was liberated from Desai's clutches, causing the Sophia people to greet their new hero with raucous cheers. However, what Alm did not and could not know was that his victory here was but the prelude to a longer and far more bitter conflict. So that's the usurper. Man. I like that chapter. I think you did a nice job of like truncating it a bit. Like I felt like the intro sequence is a lot shorter because of all my mounts and it just made it a lot easier to approach the castle and kind of finish it off quickly. Um, I probably had to do it a little faster than I wanted to because Alm was at risk and I didn't want to like stick around for the chest. Um, but I think the only thing I would change would just be like Slade and the Cavs positionings because Slade comes out really fast. And like once, I feel like once the say leaves, the map kind of deflates and it's kind of just like a rush to the throne. So I would probably reposition the Cavs to charge in first. So they create a wall around Slade and then you kind of have to think through the positioning as you take out the Cavs and they kind of whittle them down for Slade to come finish off versus the Cavs. Like Slade charges when the Cavs just wait. I don't know how true that is to Gaiden or Shadows of Valentia. It's been a while since I've done that. But I think that small change would help quite a lot. Um, otherwise, I think the adjustments are fine. I like that there's an incentive to split because of those two chests and that there's the anti-turtle with the thief. That's a nice touch. And it's, I got to say, probably pretty hard to get to without sending calves up the right side, which I do like. So it does give you a nice bonus for going cav when I think often in Gaiden. Personally, I think going cav with a villager is usually not a great move. Um, but it worked out really well. Gray did his job. Clive did his job. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Love the mugs. And the scenes at the end, I think you did a nice job like picking and choosing the best ones from the exploration sequences to use, like the scene with the old man, like in tying that into the story. Like it's a really nice edit and I think it just shows like a mastery and understanding of the source material. So it's a really good adaptation for this format uh, in that regard. And it doesn't drag on too long because there's a lot of dialogue in Shadows of Valentia. And I think you do a really nice job of really picking and choosing the best ones that add enough context to the story without making it feel like fluff and that's a really important distinction and on that note guys my name is panda this has been fire emblem the sacred echoes a fire emblem 8 rom hack by hyper gamma spaces and i'll see you guys next time for what's to be my favorite part in the game leaving the nest celica time it's celica time all right until then